The other guy is a super-powered superhero on The Boys. And we love them both, and they're here for you right now. Let's have a warm welcome for Jared and Jensen. Start out. 
who, who, there you go, I saw your hand. Yes, ma'am. Oh, hi, I love you. I love you back. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, okay. Thank you for your question. <laughs> We should dial the comedy down this morning. <laughs> um, we kind of thought that at the end, Jesse, the Antichrist, should have like showed up and took care of Chuck because he's the Antichrist. You know, come back from Australia and surfing and you know. And now he ends up as gunpowder? I was going to say, he's a little busy being my sidekick. <laughs> Years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's like you're not going back to work. <laughs> yeah, those guys are crazy. Is, is that what it was? It was like, where's Jesse? He's the unknown. I think there are a few. Like, what the hell did that happen? But yeah, I think I think once uh, the the supernatural train got headed on certain tracks, it just kind of stayed around. Uh, it would have been fun to have him back. He's like a, a man now. He's a child now. Uh, he was the Antichrist. Yeah, he's, uh, it was really cool to, to, to see you work with Gavin again uh, last year at The Boys. He showed up and I was like, hey, it looks familiar. <laughs> and he was like, yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't figured it out. I was like, oh my gosh, you grew up. <laughs> he was like, that happened to you. <laughs> shut up. Years. Call Jared to throw a shoe at you again. <laughs> I did. I threw a shoe at him when he was a child. I'm not proud of it. This is like an intervention. No more shoe throwing, Jared. And I, wasn't, I didn't throw it at it. I threw it towards him to be funny. I was like, ah, there's a kid. Maybe he's nervous. And I had flip flops on. I was like, ah. And he was like, I sat crickets. I still crickets. Crickets on set. His dad was like, I don't know what to do. Like, like, this guy's ass, or do I like? Just... So I was like, my bad, my bad. And so I sat on the couch in, in the set. We were filming a house. And I sat on the back of the couch, like the cushions are facing that way, and put my weight into it. And it wasn't like a very sturdy couch. And boom. <laughs> At which time our first AD Johnny Mag was like, Jared, why don't you uh, go back to the trailer? <laughs> We're gonna block this without you. I was like, you got it. <laughs> you wonder why I always lose this shoe. <laughs> one for one. <laughs> three for three, man. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Right back. Yeah. You with a mask. <laughs> four for four! <laughs> Chill out. I'm totally meeting you right now. Thank you. Uh, so, you went the show running for 15 years, and you know, there was a lot of serious storylines, a lot of lighter storylines. Uh, as as you know, the two main actors who were involved in pretty much everything, I was wondering, what, was there ever a time where you picked up a script and you're reading either a plot point or, or even a larger story arc, and you kind of said to yourself, really? This is what we're doing? Like, this is kind of ridiculous, but like, okay. Yes, 327 times. I <laughs> <laughs> the script and said like, wait, we're gonna, we're gonna, what are we doing? Why are we gonna, we gonna uh, I do, I, the, the first thing that came to my mind is uh, after season five ended and then Sarah Gamble took over the show, we were all, I'm sure y'all were as well, going like, what the hell do we do now? So I was in LA for some reason, and I was like, hey, Sarah, like, I, I'd love to come on. I was gonna bring her a bottle of wine and whatever, a note, a congratulations on the showrunner. Cause she had started out as, a, as one of a pair of writers, right? Ellis Hunter and Sarah Gamble. They would like write a supernatural script and send it in to Cricky and be like, I like it, I'm gonna use it. And so then she became the showrunner, and I was like, that's a really cool story. Uh, and she's super talented. And so I went, and we shot shit, talked about family and life, this and that. And I was like, so, season six, like I'm sure you're kind of breaking it right now, and you in the writer's room are trying to figure out what we're doing. What are we doing? And she's my boss at the point in time. And so she's like, well, it's kind of, kind of cool, kind of crazy, kind of cool. I was like, okay. And she goes, uh, Sam, 
comes back. Obviously, you come see him standing outside, um, and you come back, but you're soulless. And I was like, I'll call. <laughs> Sounds great, man. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> uh, so I, I just kind of went in my head of like, I've done some crazy stuff between seasons one and five. I was like, I have no idea how to play soulless. I didn't know where to begin. But then luckily, because I'd had that conversation with her, I had like two or three months to try and figure out what I was gonna do. Uh, but certainly that was like a, a, a mic drop record skip moment. Like, <laughs> soulless? Like, what does the soul do? Like, how do I do that? Uh, so that, that for me was uh, a standout for sure. Yeah, we, uh... We got a lot of those kind of like WTF moments reading these scripts, and um, but again, I think that that's that's one thing that Supernatural did very well was we took risks. We swung for the fences a lot, and it's a testament to uh, you guys for staying with us when we did that. And uh, I think I mean, I mean, Kirky said it uh, a long, long time ago. Um, you know the phrase "jumping the shark." Yeah. 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 Kripke goes, it's not jumping the shark if you never come down. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think we ever came down. We just kept, kept going. And, uh, <laughs> thanks, man. Thank you for your question. Uh, I'm going to go as far right as possible with that. Hello. So I'm going to steal a question from a panel from yesterday. If you're in the room, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked Rich, Rob, and Matt yesterday, with the number of special effects um, that were involved with yeah. 15 seasons, is there ever a special effect that you were told one thing and then all of a sudden it aired and it was like, uh, that's not what I picture. Interesting. Well, thank you both for your questions. <laughs> Well, let, me, let me ask you this, because nothing was really coming to mind, and I'll, and I'll tell you why, because there was very, very, very little fat on the scripts and the making this show. It was so streamlined, and so uh, um, everything that we shot made it into the show. Uh, everything that was planned generally happened. It was very rare that there would be some left field thing that would occur in the final product that we were at least made aware of or wasn't on the, it wasn't in the script. Um, that being said, did some, did they answer, did they give an answer yesterday that was... I have some specific thought about it. If I remember, I think it was um, Rob mentioning God bringing um, Kevin back up to heaven. Uh, something where he said he said he wasn't sure where people had to look. Oh yeah, oh, that's that was yeah. There, there was uh, so I'm thinking about how my thing because I can remember him doing it. Uh, there was sometimes <laughs> there was things where like Sam or Dean were seeing Dean or Sam differently, and the only way to do that there's a scene I think it's season eight. I think I'm going through trials. I've had hallucinations, and so Jen's gonna come in as Dean and be like, Hey Sam, you know, time to go. Uh, and then, for the sake of uh, visual effects, make like. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, I think it's in the blooper reel. I think it's in the blooper reel. It is. It's in the blooper reel because they had to. They were gonna take it and like shake the camera and add like distortions. And Sam's like, what am I saying? Um, but those were always. And then the vampire fans, those sucked up because they would fit you for uh, like mouth guards, top bottom. But they were pretty rigid. So anybody, any stunt man or woman, any actor or actress, if you had to play a, a vampire, the inside of your mouth was all cut up afterwards. Oh, because you're kind of like, yeah, you're kind of like sitting there, you know, there's just so just drool. Oh. Just, you couldn't really like close yeah. your lips and stuff. So you drool anyways. So that was my problem. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like shorts. <laughs> so you're getting caught, and then you have to do a, a shot where you reveal your fangs, and you're like, well, it's pretty obvious to have something in my mouth, because you look like this. <laughs> you're like, hey, uh, can you like not make it so obvious that you have fangs in your mouth? You're like, no, I've got like, two mouth guards now. But then you'd have to go like, 
you know, and so it's not weird. Because the whole time, you know, especially playing Sam and Dean together and with each other, we were just kind of coexisting, like working, and then they're like, hey, will you make a really weird face for about five or ten seconds? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I do what? And then sure enough, really, really, really. Yeah, it did make the guy really. This isn't, this isn't really a, a, a visual effects thing, but uh, there were a lot of moments when, you know, really serious moments like Jared's talking about, and, and, and like somebody's got their teeth in it, and it's just like drool, like how we That takes you out of the moment. And one in particular that I remember uh, vividly is, uh, I think it was in my time of dying, um, with Lizzie McKeon, who played the Reaper, yes. when she when she went to like you couldn't put, see through the, the first several seasons, you couldn't see through the yellow or the black. She had contacts and, and like literally couldn't see. And so when she went to like bring me back to life and put her hand on my head, she did this. I did it. <laughs> Every day I had to move her hand. And put her You guys know, it's all right. <laughs> Whatever you'd like to know, it's right there in the game. <laughs> Thank you all for your question. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I still think that Warner Brothers should release like a six hour. Yeah. <laughs> of footage. That is literally my biggest regret about uh, Supernatural, about our time Supernatural. We could probably have. 24 hours of gags. Oh, yeah. We were all having a great time making a show that we hope y'all would love, and it seems like y'all did, which is awesome. Uh, and so then they had to cut it down, and the gag girls were hilarious. But I was like, man, there was so, like, there would have been. We had enough material for the gag reel in the first two episodes <laughs> of every season. Of every season. <laughs> it could have been an entire season of gags, like 15 episodes. Like, here's every time they were jerking off on. <laughs> Jerking around. <laughs> and that's on the gag reel. That's now the creation. Every time you're jerking around, jacking around, I don't want to say that. I'm saying every season. Or, 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 careful with my words. <laughs> uh, with Why did they do that? They could have literally yeah, added a whole... Just, yeah, I'd have watched every episode. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it would have been the highest rated episode of the season. Uh, anyway, okay. What, what, about, what about her question? What? Can you ask her a question? No, that was her question. I know, but maybe she can ask her question. <laughs> she asked her question. Okay, <laughs> Fire alarm. Yeah. Uh, right here, sir. Me? Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> To die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, hi, Jared. Hi, Jensen. This is my second convention. I just want to say thank you for helping save my life and for playing characters who, like, helped save my life. So, I was going through some really hard shit in high school and life in general. So, um, you guys can call me a pain in the ass, but, uh, Jensen, who do you think would win in a combat fight between your new character, Sheriff Bo, and Big Sky? Dean, Soldier Boy, Michael Dean, or Demon Dean? <laughs> 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 and then, Jared, who would you think would win in a fight between Sam and Cordell Walker? Oh, oh. <laughs> I need to go first because I got a lot of I gotta be honest, Sam would take the best. Yeah! <laughs> I love Cordell Walker. Bit of a soft. <laughs> he's got kids and he's like, hey, can we just like, let's have a beer so we get along? <laughs> Sam's like, dude, I killed Lucifer. Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. And Sam had longer hair. <laughs> and was younger, even power, was about 20 pounds yeah, heavier. Or one form, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it was all downhill after Sam. Uh, man, uh, well. I, I think we could take any mortal version of character out because, you know, Bo, mm -mm, bye. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dean, I'm sorry, pal. You already died. 
Yeah. Um, oh, now you're talking. Demon Dean? Dean? No. I, well, see, now you're talking like not superpowers. You're talking about supernatural powers. Yeah. And so I think I think Soldier Boy's out because he's just he's just a tough guy with a really bad attitude. Uh, <laughs> Demon Dean probably, but Grace Hair would be next to him. <laughs>
um, was that uh, that it wasn't my home. That was the only complaint. I was like, but what a what a great second home. Yeah. So. I, I will say, I will say that I had I had spent time in Toronto on the Academy Award winning Olsen twin movie that I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Science Academy. Yeah, Science Academy. <laughs> uh, but I had never been to the West Coast. Um, but I knew that Canes, or I've, I've, you know, I've met a very large amount of uh, very kind Canadians. Then, in the first two weeks of shooting Supernatural in Vancouver, my car got broken into and all my change and my tennis racket got stolen. And then he and I got jumped. I was like, this place is supposed to have nice people. It's not nice if we lose hockey. It's not nice if we lose hockey player or something. Can you come to New Glenn? Yes. Was it? Yeah. Newfie, yes. we had a Newfie work on our show. His name was Steve Martin. He was the nicest person on the planet. Come to Ottawa! Come to Ottawa! Come to Ottawa! The Vancho Life Comedian Steve Martin? No, Steve Martin, our Newfie. He was a PA. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 The nicest guy on the planet. Uh, I think he moved back to Newfie. Um, I love your Newfie. The Maritimes. Come to Ottawa! What about Labrador? Yes, yes, yes I love dogs. Labrador. That's what you'll have there, right? Retrievers? Yes. What do you call retrievers here? Like, Ontario Dr. Retrievers? <laughs> have you ever seen, have you ever seen Jim Gaffigan spit about Newfoundland and the, the time zones? Yeah. Yes, yes. He's like, he's like, uh, alright, just a little bit of housekeeping here. Newfoundland, um, uh, time, time zone, do you want to be uh, East Coast or do you want to be, uh, what's the, the next one? Central. 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 Central.
uh, where it's like, oh shit, it's my life. Uh, <laughs> so that's, it was an awesome, awesome experience. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say this before we leave. Uh, uh, Eric Kirke sent me a, a text on my birthday. Um, like, dude, I can't believe you're 40. I remember thinking you were too young to play Sam. Now you're too old. Here's what my sister gave But he did say, like, hey, we had apples on the show. When are you going to come play? Oh. I was like, well, I'd love to. I just have to go do like four months of squats. Because I'm ready to show my ass. <laughs> Maybe I can stick on some time. I would love to. Yeah, you can't, you can't get on that show without showing a little back end. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>